What's up YouTube? It's Brittany and I'm here for my 8 month update. I'm a few days late. My official 8 month was actually on October 24th but who I got so wrapped up in doing a lot of other things. So now that Hurricane Sandy is on her way here, I really don't have anything to do but to sit down and make a video, wash my hair, retwist. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for y'all now. Right now what you see is um, the results of a 3 week old Bentonado. I've been really lazy. Um, if I'm not wearing it like this, then I have it pinned up. It's been extremely lazy, but I'll let y'all see what's really good, what it's looking like right now. Before I hop in the shower and wash and retwist. Um, I've had to um, actually combine in the last couple of weeks. But With, well, within the last month, I did have to combine one, well, two of them, I'm sorry. And it's this one, as you can see, it's a two-headed dragon. Um, I had to do that because the one closest to my hairline that was over here just was looking a little thin. I didn't really know how it would do as time went on, so I went ahead and combined the two of them. Hey, everybody. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 Okay. But, um, yeah, so that's about it. I'll let you guys see what's going on all right and I'll be back to show you guys the finished product once I'm all done hey y'all I know I said I wasn't gonna come back until I finished the retwist and all that jazz but I just realized I haven't shown my hair wet since I um first started my lock so these are freshly washed Feeling good, hanging. You know what? I really wish that my hair would hang like this all the time. Like the way it looks when it's wet, I really wish it did. I want to show y'all. Got some hang time when it's wet, y'all. Look at that. All right, that's it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm back with a fresh retwist, and they continue my eight month update for you guys. Um, to be completely honest. It's not much that's been going on for real. I don't have much to update you guys on. My regimen is still the same. Still using the Design Essential Shampoo line, the Organic Cleanse, the um, therapeutic one for the dry scalp, flaky, itchy scalp, and the moisture retention. I still haven't got enough balls to move on to a conditioner, but I do believe that my next shampoo, I'm going to go ahead and start incorporating the conditioner into it because I'm confident enough now at the point I'm at that I don't have to worry about anything trying to unravel or come apart you know I probably should have been doing it from the jump so I'm definitely going to start doing the conditioner still retwisting with the Talia Wajid lock it up I would definitely like to try something different not that I have a problem with her products but with any gel sometimes it just looks a little stiff at first maybe it's because my locks are still short but afterwards you know I don't they're, they're a little stiff with the gel I was thinking about trying a lot better but automatically the red flag started going up when I heard butter because I'm like, oh my god, butter, build up. I don't know. So, if anybody's ever tried any lock butters or anything else, you know, let me know how that worked out for you because I'm really considering just trying something different because, I mean, I wash my hair every two to three weeks. So, by the time I wash it, you know, the previous retwist is going to wash out and I'm going to, you know, it's not like I'm really necessarily concerned about the hold on it, but. You know, I'm open to new things. So, just let me know if you ever tried anything different. And as far as still moisturizing my scalp and my hair, still using my mixture that I put together um, in this bottle. Not this stuff, but just in this bottle. For anybody that's new to my channel, um, what I use to moisturize my hair and my scalp is um, some castor oil. And I mix that with three essential oils. And those oils are tea tree, peppermint, and rosemary. It works very good and for anybody who's dealing with extremely dry scalp and you know that the weather is definitely about to change up on us and get cool definitely try that because like I tell everybody ever since I started using that the amount of time that I have to or the number of times that I have to moisturize my scalp in a whole week and, and within two weeks it's dramatically decreased I think I probably put that oil in my hair twice a week now instead of you know oiling my scalp every day so definitely try that um aside from that that's it. I'm three quarters of the way there, almost to my one year mark, and this time has gone by so fast. And I, I've sat back the last couple of days and looked at my progression from 
when I first got them done all the way on down the line. And I'm, I'm making some big, big, big steps. Um, they're definitely maturing, not looking anything like they started out looking. So anybody who is just starting their locks, who is thinking about locks, whatever the case may be, all of us start out a little impatient because we want our locks to look this way. They want, we want our locks to be locks from day one, but it does take time. But when it starts happening, it's like, wow, you really start to appreciate it. I mean, I, I love my hair. I get frustrated with it at times, but I love it, and patience is the key. So let me go ahead and give you guys a tour like I normally do. This is the front. Side. This is the new baby that I got going on. I had to combine these two because the one closest to my hairline just was scaring me a little bit. Um, I just felt like with time that that one was probably going to snap right on off. Maybe not in the near future, but with time it would as it got heavier. Um, also, this one, I'm going to have to combine this one to something. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's weak. It just looks thin because that's, you know, the hair that was there. I don't know, I'm going to have to combine it with something in the back. And that's that. Um, I think the issue that I'm facing right now since I've laid off of interlocking is that I think I retwist my hair too tight. I personally, I don't feel it in my head, but I can see it from my hair. And I remember somebody saying, if you can see the, um, like these little lumpy things, like if you see them where they're trying to coil up, it means you did it too tight. And I have a few in here like that, like look at this one. I don't know, it's not intentionally, I just do it too tight, so I'm going to lay off that. But aside from that, that's it, that's my 8 month update. Um, I'll try to come back and update you guys on other things throughout the rest of this month but it's, it's just not much I think once you get to a certain point with your hair there's not really much to really update people on unless you do a lot of styles which I don't I said I was gonna try to get into it but I'm just really lazy I'm just you know what I've been doing this past month is neglecting my hair like not in a bad way but just letting it do what it do I really like tie it up at night get up shake it out and leave if I got somewhere important to go I'll pin it up but I just haven't been paying too much attention to it, and I think in doing that, I haven't, you know, been too worried about it, and that's a good thing. So, y'all make sure to comment, rate, subscribe, share my videos, you know, holla at me, let me know what you think, any suggestions, I'm always down for them, and I will see y'all next time.